Ryzen processors overclocking level 2 in this video I'm going to take you past position boost overdrive which was what I covered in my first video my last video on easy overclocking with Ryzen boost overdrive so this is going to be level 2 We're progressing gradually up the scale of how to overclock and fine tune your Ryzen systems. This one's got a 5950X and a 360 millimeter Corsair radiator, triple fan, and an RTX 3080. So, in the last video we did position boost overdrive, just hit that button and that gave you an instant 10 to 15% boost and in this video we're going to fine tune it so that you reduce the amount of wattage used and the temperatures but first we're going to run it as it is again see what the Cinebench score is and what the temps are so I'm going to run Cinebench now or oh, 20 I've got aggressive cooling in the system so the fans will ramp up because that the temperatures shot up 81.5 degrees 82.4 82.3 can hear the fans going nearly 83 now fans are going fast so this is a position boost overdrive and that's finished 10,241 now that might sound low for a 5950S but this system has a lot of apps open as you can see Excel and loads more and it's across three screens as well so there's that normally it would be higher than that around 10,600 if it was just fresh boot so let's look at the temperature what was the max temperature so as a guide we got 10,200 on 241 on Cinebench and we got a max temperature of 82.8 max wattage was 229 watts so it didn't use much and yeah, we'll reset those so there we go so what we're going to aim to do is to retain that Cinebench score but reduce the wattage and the temperature the max temperature for that we click auto overclocking so you go to the auto, auto overclocking and click it and then you're ready to change these figures I already set this one to that will be zero on yours just set it to 200 to give the CPU a boost overdrive that's 200 megahertz if it needs to it will let's reset the top graph it would have run it with it isn't it yeah we would boost it from 4.2 to 4.4 gigahertz so that's the first thing to change you might have to reboot the system before you can apply these settings um, is that something to take into note when you click apply you might have to reboot it but the first setting to change is to set that to 200 megahertz to boost your CPU the next is PPT that's peak power wattage now that's 395 this motherboard can deliver however the peak used was 230 so what we're going to do that is to reduce that a lot that will affect the temperature so we we'll reduce that to one in this board in on for this CPU to one 88 so that will reduce the max wattage from 230 to 188 for the 5950x next will be TDC and EDC we will reduce the TDC to 144 and the EDC the peak to 160 okay you can play around with these figures to fine tune but I'm going to reduce that and we'll see what happens to the temperatures and the Cinebench or 20 score if it stays the same we might even go up 
obviously reducing the temps. Okay, now I'm going to apply these settings. It's applied. We're now ready to go. And we'll see what happens to the wattage. The wattage will be now capped at 188. It's 184, 188. Temperature went up to, it's not gone up yet, to 70. 21 and the cine bent score is nearly finished. I get the impression it's doing slightly faster than last time. The fans aren't ramping up, that's for sure. We got a slightly higher cine bent R20 score. See, it was 10,240, now it's 10,262, and the temperature is hardly registered. Look at the difference. That was the peak temperature. Now it was 71 point, well, what was it about? 70, whatever that is. And wattage was there, so we reduce it a little bit more. Yeah, we can reduce. Uh, we, here we can see if you reduce TDC to 142. And EDC to 158. See what difference that makes. Click apply and run. So we reduced the amount of wattage used again without reducing the watts. And now it's 187, marginally less. Temperatures. 72, you know, it's a smaller peak than before. And whilst the megahertz is similar, gigahertz. 72.6, we've got a smaller peak in the temperature. Okay, what's the Cinebed score? It's gone down a little bit. So what we'll do, we'll put those back up. If you want the Cinebed score to be higher, whilst we're reducing the Let's increase that then. 145 and 162. And we'll reduce the power to 184. Click apply. And we'll run the Cinebench R20 score again. It says basically you're fine tuning wattage, TDC, and EDC. To, so as to maximize Cinebench R20 score whilst minimizing temperature. Look, it's only 70.4 I'm seeing there. Now let's see if we can get back over 10,240 and the lower wattage, slightly lower wattage, see 184. Let's see what that delivers. Oh, it's gone down. We'll have to put the wattage back up. So we'll increase the wattage to 180, 190. So it's a balancing act. Basically level two, you're adjusting the various settings. Fan suddenly gone off. I'm quiet. Okay, so we're going to apply, I'll just increase PPT to 190, that's the wattage. I'm going to run Cinebench again and see if we can get better than the 10260. That is very quiet. The fan is silent. Too silent. I can't even hear anything. All right, so what have we got now? 10,245. So it is very quiet. Uh, 
this the issue with the IQ sometimes it plays up so if I quit courses IQ the fans should start ramping up uh, we can reduce TDC to 144 and increase PPT to 192 so we can get a little bit better Cinebent to our 20 score so let's run that now for a question of fine tuning here we go that's the temperature 75.9 still waiting for the fan to ramp up 6.5 fans not ramping up for some reason right what's the score 10 2, 5, 6. so I'm gonna leave it at that and that's at level 2 overclocking basically where you reduce the wattage and the other limits from position boost overdrive maximum that will reduce your system's temperature and make it run a lot quieter with the fans not running as loud as these aren't it's quiet and the peak temperature was a lot lower than previously so that's level 2 overclocking Level 3 will be in the next video which will be manual I'll take you through that manual setting where you set uh, oh yeah, I'll give you another tip Well, uh, shall I save it to the next video? Well, in, if you go in the BIOS you can set the temperature limit Here it's 90 so You can reduce the limit, that's a bit like a power limit So it throttles that like here It's set to 90 but you can reduce that temperature limit that means you'll throttle the CPU earlier. So if you say set here 82, you'll throttle the CPU, cut the temperature down, so it doesn't go over 82. But if you use these limits like PPT and TDC and EDC, then you won't go over 80 anyway. Not on a 5950X, it'll be lower on other processors. Anyway, we've achieved the same Cinebench R20 score with a lot less power consumption than 395, although it's going to 230. It was achieving the same Cinebench score, consuming about 40 watts more. So check out the next video for level 3 overclocking, which will be manual overclocking <laughs>